Hold on. Is this live? Yes or no? Guys, listen to me. This is why some people fucking suck. No, listen to me. This is why people fucking hate sales people. This is why. I want to know what you do. Do you guys want to be great in your industry, yes or no? Yes. Okay, guys, because I can stick on one subject all day long and keep rolling, but if you'll talk to me, we'll work on every freaking objection in your entire industry. You feel me? Yeah. It's called mastery, right? Okay, so we're running you too quick. Are you ready? What's the number one objection you get? Uh, Just tell me what it is. I have a few more quotes I need to get. Okay, cool. Ready? Here we go. I said, hey, I really appreciate you coming out. Um, I, got a, I got a few more places I want to look at. I'm going to get back with you. Go. All right, so um, <laughs> under pressure. Wow, this is not. No, no, just tell me what you would do. Okay. Forget about all that. So. Ready, go. All right, so we already know you like Hobika. We know you like the company, right? Sure. It's the first time I used you guys, but sure. Okay, but how'd you find us? In the phone book. In the phone book? Uh, in Google. So I went over that we have zero complaints, and there's not many companies in the Valley that have zero complaints. We're also 4.9, 4,000 reviews. I mean, I mean, we're Google guaranteed. These aren't paid from overseas, and we're not getting these reviews in. These are real reviews. Our CRM's been checked. You know, we're getting this service, right? So we're a good company. Do you like Obica now? I mean, we went over this. Do you like Obica? Sure. It's the first time I've okay. used you guys. You're in my home. I just met you. You just checked my shit out. You told me I need to buy something. So like, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a raging fan. You okay. feel me? That's why I'm shopping yeah. around, obviously, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. Do you like me? <laughs> you seem like a nice guy. All right. I appreciate that. Um, so we still have price. What did you budget for this project? I didn't know there was going to be a budget. I didn't even know it was going to cost okay. us a, a certain amount of money. Um, I'm stumped. That's okay. Right stop. Ready? Come on. Ready? <laughs> Hold on. Is this life? Yes or no? <laughs> Guys, listen to me. This is why salespeople fucking suck. No, listen to me. This is why people fucking hate salespeople. This is why. You know, no disrespect. You came here today to get great. So listen, I love them. But I fucking, at one point in time, didn't make any money either. I wasn't making a lot, and I was a fucking amateur. Okay? Listen to me. People hate salespeople because they want you to take the pressure off them and give them reasons and excuses why they should do it right fucking now and give them the courage to say yes today. We're not doing that. So when we don't do that, there's a fucking problem. Am I right? You want, look, look, no disrespect, but if that was in my house and it was like, do you like me? Do you like me? I'm like, I mean, yeah, I fucking like, I mean, I kind of like you. Like I just met you. It's like, dude, like this shit isn't working. It's, this is why somebody, some fucking manager taught him that shit 30 fucking years ago. Right? And the shit's still rolling down. You feel me? Okay. So hold on. Ready? I want you to handle this. Okay. So I appreciate it. I've got a couple more companies to look at. I'm going to get back with you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments. Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Hey, you know what, Andy? I definitely appreciate that, my Just friend. Mic. I can definitely appreciate that. I understand. We all want to do our due diligence, make sure we're getting the greatest deal. But you called me out here for a reason, didn't you? Yeah, I had a problem, and then you, you, got you found issue. some you problems. You that issue fixed, right? Yes. And how'd you find us through Costco? Is that correct? Yeah, I found it in Google or Costco. Yeah, you went to Costco because you trust them, right? You believe they're a good company, correct? Sure. Somebody you can depend well, on. I shop there, so. Well, yeah, definitely. And as you can see, Costco has us here because they trust and they believe it it's also. What else? Uh, is there anything I haven't answered or addressed? No, you've done everything. I just want to. I just want to shop the the. I just want to check some other quotes. Okay, I get you want to check with other quotes. So are we just looking for the best uh, best price? Or are we looking for the best equipment? Okay, now you're finally getting somewhere. Yeah. Okay, listen, hold on, hold on. But listen to me. Everybody say sniper. Sniper. Okay, listen to me. When you're sitting across from somebody, okay, and it's time to, to get the money, the first 90% of the time, what are you doing? Painting pictures, selling stories, presenting, and then the last 10% of the time, you're collecting 100% of the money. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. Guys, do a, do a really good job with it, okay? So now is the time where you've already done all the work. So the guy's like, hey, I've got a couple more places to go look at. Hey, I totally understand. Hypothetically, let's say you've already gone and checked all those other places, and then mine was the last company that you went and looked at. Look, after looking at all the companies, every single one of them, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up doing business with? 
Would it be the price, regardless of the work they did? Or would it be who performed the best work and made sure it lasted the longest so the value for the money was there? Which one? The value for the money. Okay, let me tell you who we are. Let me tell you why we do what we do. There's a lot of people that'll walk into a home and they want to be the cheapest out there because they want to do some work for your house. When they leave, their warranties are no good and they're not invalid. That's why when you go and you see that we're in Costco, you think Costco would let just anybody come in? No. Why are we the only HVAC company in Costco? Because we back what we do. And at the end of the day, spending a small amount of money or big, a big amount of money, you work hard for your money, you put your money in the bank. When the money gets spent out of the bank, it's pretty important, isn't it? And that's why you go to places like Costco, and that's why you deal with people like us who can get into big brands like Costco, right, that are massive. Okay? So what I'll tell you is what I'm going to do is ensure that the work gets done. It's only done once in the last entire lifetime. That's why we have a warranty. It's called X, Y, and Z. Secondly, my name is Andy Elliott. I'm going to give you my personal cell phone number. Take your pen. Write this down right now. If you ever call me and I don't answer, call the insurance company because I'm dead. I will service you at a level that you've never been serviced at before. And at the end of the day, that's what you want. Am I right or right? Right, right. Okay, so it's not a matter of if it's going to get done. It needs to be done. It's when. And when it gets done, it's just who's going to do it right and make sure it lasts the longest. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Well, if that's what's important to you, that's us. At that point in time, I don't care if that's your close or not. Listen to me. You have to be the person to make them advance the sell forward and move on, do the contract, sign the agreement, get the financing done and say yes. Am I right? right? Okay, what did I say? I said in the end, let's say you already went and looked at all those other companies and mine was the last one that you went and looked at. After looking at all of them, I said in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up doing business with? Would it be the cheapest uh, price regardless of the work done? Or the place that got the work done at the best at a fair and reasonable price and had the best value? My goal is I'm going to make them choose. And they're going to say, well, value for the price. You're going to say, great, that's why I'm here. And then you can tie in the Costco deal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All I want is this. These HVAC guys, I don't sell HVAC. But did I handle the objection? Yes. Okay, now listen to me. I'm going to explain something to you. Can you handle every objection in your industry? Yes or no? no. Yes. Okay. Hold on. The question is, can you? Is there a better version of you? Yeah, of course. Okay. So here's what I want. When I tell you no, I want it to come straight out of your mouth. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.